Seoul's Defense Ministry released proof of Japanese warplane flying at a low altitude near a South Korean vessel on Wednesday. Five photographs back up the claim that the maritime patrol aircraft was approaching the warship in a threatening manner. Kan Young-woo has our top story. On Thursday, Seoul's Ministry of National Defense released five photographs taken from the Navy destroyer Tejoyang to back up its claim that a Japanese maritime patrol aircraft flew near the ship at a low altitude. Two pictures taken from the ship's thermal observation camera and one taken by the ship's camcorder show the Japanese airplane approaching. The other two photos are of radar data indicating that the Japanese plane was flying at an altitude of just 200 feet or about 60 meters. A day earlier, the defense ministry called the flight a provocative act. The Tejoyong was on a regular mission Wednesday near Korea's southernmost island of Iodo when the Japanese plane came as close as 540 meters. The Navy vessel sent multiple messages to the plane, saying it was flying in a threatening manner and asking that it change course. The fact that Japan has conducted another aggressive low-altitude flight, despite South Korea's clear requests that it prevent this from happening again, is an unambiguous provocation against a ship belonging to a military partner. Thus, we cannot help but question Japan's intentions, and we strongly condemn Japan's actions. Should this happen again, we will respond in line with our military's code of conduct. Hours later, Seoul's defense ministry called in the Japanese military attaché and lodged a strong protest. According to the South Korean military, Wednesday's low-altitude flyby was the third one just this month. The other two happened on the 18th and the 22nd. But Tokyo denied Seoul's claims, saying the plane was on a regular mission, that it was not flying in a threatening way, and that it was not at the low altitude South Korea claims. The latest incident has stoked the already rising tensions between the two countries. Only about a month ago, a dispute erupted over claims by Japan that another South Korean ship used its targeting radar on a Japanese plane while on a mission to rescue a North Korean boat, something Seoul says there's no evidence for. Kanyeong, Arirang News.